I mean, that was part of the fun of making this movie is like just total chaos. I think it's really important that you swing for the fences every time and, and, and do something. I think it's important to work hard and take risks. We would almost like tear up the script every morning, like it was total chaos at 4 a.m. Like the script just got like lit on fire. We would rewrite it uh, with Todd and with Scott and, and then, you know, we would go to set and we would just live completely in the moment. We were leaning more and more into music and so I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could find an actor who, who brought music with them? Obviously, Gaga does that in spades. You know, I think in getting inside the head of my character, I, I just tried to, you know, in a lot of ways, not decide who she was. I always thought that even in the first film, as dark as it was, there was a light in Arthur, there was a music inside of Arthur that, that, that Marquin and I talked about all the time. Now, does he surprise me? He surprises me every day anyway with what he's capable of doing. He has such a negative self-image, as crazy as that sounds, maybe he'll be like, I don't know how to sing, I can't do that. And then he, or I can't dance, and, and then all of a sudden he's like, there's something, like, he could do anything, he just will never admit it. Oh, <laughs> humble man. <laughs> yeah. I loved working with Todd and he had such a vision for how he wanted the story to be told. Look around, look at all these people. Movies are meant to be immersive. The movies are meant to bring you into it. Let's give the people what they want. It's about letting go in the dark, becoming part of the world.